Hi, my name's Keith Cooper and in this short video I'm going to have a quick look at a new tripod system from Rogetti, a um, Chinese company uh, that um, I've looked at their kit a few times in the past, particularly with connection with tilt shift lenses, but this is uh, their T32 tripod. Um, I should almost call it the T32 tripod system since there's lots of bits and pieces that uh, are of different uses to different uh, types of photographer. So if you do video, things like that. Now, I've been using it as an architectural photographer and also for some industrial use. The basic tripod itself is a carbon fibre tripod. Um, I put a link underneath the uh, video here that takes you to the information page rather than just reel off all the specs. You can have a look and see all the bits and pieces yourself. It's carbon fibre, um, nice and light, as you'd expect. And the first thing I noticed about it uh, when I get there, is that uh, when you slacken off the controls and they've got a rubber grip on them so they're, they're really quite nice and they work even wearing gloves there's no sort of stickiness in them is that when I extend the legs and I'm hoping these are going to show up on the video uh, that the thickest legs are at the bottom rather than the normal way around you see where the bottom legs are the thin spindly ones um, now they're nice and smooth lock we're back um, there is no adjustment of angle here. Uh, it is just a set angle for this uh, particular type here. Uh, there's a centre post. Now there are bubble levels on it all over the place. Um, you can see them here. An example when I was using it the other day um, where I've got it set up. Now if I take the centre post out There we go. Now, I know some people don't like center post tripods. Um, I do. Um, I've never found uh, any particular problem. This casting at the top here and is very solid. As I say, it's got two uh, bubble levels on it. It's damped nicely. So anything where something hits, there is rubber damping on it. So it gives the whole tripod a very soft feel. There's no hardness vibration about it. Now I'm not going to go to the lengths that some people do in testing tripods for damping times and things like that. Um, but with this particular tripod uh, I took an adapter put onto it for a pair of 30 by 70 binoculars when I went on holiday uh, a month or two ago which was one of the times when I took this with me. Uh, it was fine in terms of rigidity for binoculars at fairly high magnification. 30 by 70 is a bit on the high side for binoculars, but they're big aperture binoculars and uh, they were great. Uh, there was no sort of tripod related uh, movement on them at all. Any movement came from the less than optimal clamp that had the uh, binoculars attached to. But anyway, it worked nicely for that. If it's solid enough for binoculars, that's a good clue, a high magnification, that's a good clue that it's going to be okay for a camera. Now, I'm somebody who shoots handheld a lot, so, um, you know, I do take tripod with me when I'm on paying jobs. But the centre column that I've pulled out, what's special about it? Well, actually, um, it's metal, aluminium, or um, some alloy, and uh, it turns into its own little mini tripod. Now, sounds a bit of a gimmick, actually quite useful because I do interior photography as well as architecture. Quite often I'm photographing the outside of a building and some shots inside as well. And I might want to just put the camera down on something and there we go, I've got a little solid tripod. These are hefty, chunky bits of metal. It ain't gonna move. Uh, it has its own little center post that comes up. Now, that's quite light, but what do you expect? It's a tabletop tripod. But once again, I mentioned the rubber ring. There's rubber damping on here and on the bottom. So when I drop that down, lock, there's no movement at all on it, particularly when it's put back like that and dropped into the main part of the tripod. Now that works pretty well. Um, for weight wise, uh, where I was carrying it and didn't want the, not that much, but a little bit of extra weight of that, I used the normal centre column and this is where I said it's a system. There are all kinds of bits and pieces. This T bar here um, and this bar 
slides. These are all aluminium. They're very nicely machined. Uh, the screw threads on them are excellent. There's no cheap plastic bits on it. It's very nice and solid. So if I put that into there, and I'll do this without putting the extension bar into it. And there's a threaded extension bar that can be used either on the main post or on any. And I've got a sidebar here. I can stretch this out. On the top here, this is an Arca style mount, which I can put one of these clamps on. That's double. It's got two screw adjustments, so it clamps both sides. So I can clamp that onto the top there. And I can fit a monitor, I can fit anything I want, another camera, whatever on that. And on this end, standard 3 8 fitting, I can fit this. Now this is a Rejetti RG1, I've looked at this elsewhere. Um, I've used one of these for a few years now, it's a geared head. Um, the main gearing allows it to tilt that direction and this gearing allows it to tilt that direction. Once again, all Arca style clamps, very solidly made, everything fits together nicely. Now I can screw this on the end here and I've got an offset tripod. Now I've got stuff that I do use when I'm doing engineering work, but this is always handy. Uh, so I take this one, I've used it on some interior jobs and some architectural jobs. This is handy where I want to get the, tri get the camera really close to a wall or for a particular angle over the top of something. So that will go in there. I could add the screw section into here so we can have it longer, but remember the weight, you don't want to tip it over. So we've got that. That's that set up there. Now take that off. You can see the various settings and things I've got on here. Take that out. There's no slack in these and there's no slop in any of the joints. Everything is very nice, a very solid feel to it. Now I'm going to just put this into the screw adapter at the bottom of this. This has got an Arca fitting on as well, so I could use, use the Arca fitting. And I can put that on. And drop that into there. And there we go. That's what I was using. Um, this is this is actually from yesterday. Uh, see, I was doing a shot some of a building, actually photographing, not the building, but the brick cladding that was on used for it. It was for for a client's work website, new website. So I was actually looking at this. Um, making use of all the levels. There's levels here on this mount as well. And the camera mount that I'm using, I've got an L bracket. This is a Rigetti L bracket. This is one that's made for the 5D Mark IV, 5DS that I've got here. Uh, solid, nice, it's ruled. It's also got bubble levels. I have a surfeit of bubble levels, as you can see from that picture there. And uh, when I set it up, here we are, this is just normally set up um, I'm using the TSE 17mm lens here, got the tripod standing, um, it's not a busy road where I'm standing, hence why I'm in the middle of it, uh, but you can see it's a very nice looking bit of kit um, and it's robust and solidly built. I've had tripods before where I've used them for a month or so and you start getting a little bit of slack in this or, or stiffness sometimes in some of the joints, some of the settings. They're great when you first get them. Um, some last longer than others. Uh, it, I've never spent a vast amount on tripods because yeah, I shoot handheld far too often and I didn't have big kit that was going on top of it and I didn't necessarily need it. But I must say since using the geared head on here, uh, it has made a positive contribution to my photography. Um, I often work some types of jobs quite quickly because I may only have limited access to a site or something like that and a system like this that just works just set up nice and quick to change is really usable and it doesn't take much movement so the, the levels there all works great. So uh, what more? What is there? Is there anything I didn't like? Yeah, actually yes there is one minor quibble and I've told Rajetti about this and they said that a solution is at hand is that whoops the legs here are open at the bottom now they're threaded inside so it looks like you could put spikes on it if need be they're rubber tips they're quite used and they're angled rubber tips so they have a nice good fix to the ground 
when I used this tripod on a beach, on a sandy beach, well, a mixed sand and gravel beach, I had to be really careful afterwards to wipe out these holes here because I really don't want sand getting into this mechanism here and getting in where the slide is here. Now, if that's the biggest quibble I can come up with, it's not a bad tripod. Um, as, as they say, wait, there's more, um, because I'm going to forget these things. Let me just attach this plastic clip. Two small Allen head bolts on this. Just tighten that up. Uh, it's a small plastic clip, doesn't obscure the view of the uh, level that's here. As I said, there are two levels. Uh, it's conveniently marked uh, front, right, left on the side here. Now I put it on here, I could attach it elsewhere, but let's just drop that. What fits there? Well, there's a little shelf that just clips on there. What's the little shelf for? Well, I suppose if you're doing video, you might want to put your iPad or a monitor or something like that there. Now, I don't do video apart from these, these little very simple videos for, for YouTube, um, but it's just a nice touch. It works really well. Um, I'm surprised I suspect you can fit other monitors here. There's a hole in the bottom, presumably for if you've got something you're using it that way and you've got a, you want a cable going through to something. Um, I don't know what I would actually use this for. As I said, I'm, I'm not a videographer and um, I would take this little plastic clamp off. It's very solid, but it does stick out and um, it looks like the sort of thing that if a tripod was in the back of my car, something could hit this and break it off. Now, um, don't want to do that. Um, just depends what you're going to use it for. But there you go. Um, there are, if I remember rightly, I said do check out the link to the Regetti web, uh, website at the end of this. Um, they are doing several other options for this. I believe there is a geared centre post as well that you can just turn up and, and it will go up and down and various other settings. Uh, the bit that impresses people the most is the little mini tripod that pops out of the top of it because that's there. You just take that off, stand it on something and away you go. Take some pictures with it. Um, yeah, it's nice. Um, I don't have a huge great experience of lots and lots of tripods. So look at what you're getting here. See whether it suits your style of working. Rogetti do lots of things like this. So there's a clamp that I've looked at, a TSA adapter that clamps around tilt shift lenses that uh, holds them securely, allows you to uh, get round parallax problems if you're stitching. There are all kinds of stuff like that. Um, I've got lots of written reviews. I put links and things on the notes for this. Have a look. If anyone's got any questions, feel free to ask. Um, let me know. And um, well, yeah. Nice tripod. Thank you.